Hey everybody, anyone is here, and we are back on the Rack ATL Overload server. That time I got it right. Very cool. Anyways, um, so like promised, as I said last time, this time we are going to work a bit with Tinker's Construct. We need to make a couple tools. We're not going to make anything too advanced. Why do I have a generator on me? Uh, we're not going to make anything too advanced, but we're going to make some tools that we can upgrade a little later. Um, as well as set us up with a nice foundation of good tools, pretty much. So I have everything on me that I think I need. Now, mind you, I don't really know Tinker's Construct too well, um, so this might be a little slower than the last episode, because the last episode, I know thermal expansion pretty well, even with the new changes, I think I'm pretty good with it. But anyways, I think I have everything on me. So the first thing we need to do is make the generic... Tinker is construct stuff. Oh, so the first thing I want to mention, um, I said I was running out of iron. I totally missed. I had a stack of blocks of iron. So yeah, I'm not running out of iron whatsoever. Okay. So the first thing we need to make is a tool station. Uh, to make a tool station, you know what? Before we make another crafting bench, uh, I believe we have a crafting bench that we made last episode when I was showing you guys how to make the workbench or whatever bench it's called possibly yeah there it is okay so let's get back there and you know it's probably easier to do this and you know now that i have obsidian pressure plates i should actually put some down but we'll, we'll take care of that another time so what did we want we wanted first a tool station to make a tool station we need a crafting table or a crafting station with a blank pattern to make a blank pattern very very easy unfortunately i don't have anything that is required to do it so let's do this actually we need to get some more wood first let's just get a stack of wood that sounds good i think that's good okay so now we should be able to do this and this that obviously doesn't go there but this goes here boom now we have that and now we should be able to make a tool station right that didn't work why didn't that work there we go cool we have a tool station that's the first thing we need. And they're giving us another materials by you and you, which I already have a bunch of them. So I'm not too worried about that. Okay. Next, we need a part builder. And we are just going to make this, yeah, this 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 plain part builder. So we're going to need another one of these. Get that. And then this and this. And we have ourselves a part builder. Uh, we will need a pattern chest. So we're going to need this. And then we're going to need some more sticks and make another pattern, a blank one. Boom. And now we should be able to make our pattern chest. Yes, we can. Pattern chest. Yes. Okay. And then the next thing, the last thing we need, do we need a stencil table? We probably do need a stencil table. So you know what? We are going to make a stencil table. Pretty sure we need one. I can only imagine we do. Uh, and then that goes like that. And then for the last thing, we need a tool forge, uh, which we do not have the materials to make a tool forge. What are we missing? Oh, I need some bricks and another tool station. So we need to make another tool station, which is that. We're just going to turn into that because that is fun. Uh, that is not what we want. What, what was that making? Oh, okay. That's actually something we might need, but not right now. Uh, so we need to do that. And we got ourselves some sticks and we can make ourselves another blank pattern um and then we need to make how many of these seared bricks three of them so let's just get these in here two and three cool so now we should have everything we need <laughs> and we also have the mighty swelting book um so you know what let's just put these away into our baby little craft bookcase just because it looks cool like that you know what we're gonna put these maybe over here that looks a little cooler yeah, there we go. Okay, so we need to make our tool forge a little expensive, but it's definitely going to be worthwhile. Boom. So let's see if I could figure out which order to put these in. I think some like us, maybe? Like that, I think. I think because I believe the part builder and the pattern chest I'm, and the crafting station pull out. Of, oh, you know, this is a crafting station. That's what this is, right? This is a crafting station? Yeah, so I guess we don't really need another crafting station. I don't know why I made another one. Whatever. Okay, so I think it goes like this, because I think this and the stencil table will pull out of the pattern chest. Look at Parker. Er, Parker. Uh, yeah, I think so. So let's just do this. We could always move it. It doesn't have to be like this. 
Uh, so let's see. That, 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 and that. Is that right? So now we should be able to put patterns in there, and it's going to pull out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And stencil table. Yeah, we'll figure out what that's for. Anyway, so now we need to make our smeltery. So we have, again, plenty of these guys. So we're going to need, first, we are going to need a seared tank. Um, do we have everything we need for that? We do. So one seared tank. Uh, then we need to clear this all out. And there we go. Now we need a, I think, a seared window. We're going to get about three. We're going to go six of these. Yeah, we're going to go We're gonna go crazy. Uh, so like that. And we have enough for six. Very cool. But it looks like I'm running out of, no, I guess I'm not running out of bricks. I am running out of glass, though. So I got to keep that in mind. Um, and then I think the rest, wait, no, we have, we need a controller. Uh, okay. I didn't hit shift, but that's fine. And then we are going to need a faucet. And I think a casting bane. Maybe we don't need the casting bane yet. Okay. We do need the casting table. So we're going to make that. Uh, and you know what? We might as well make the casting bane too while we're at it, right? Because that only makes sense. Uh, yeah, we're going to make the casting bane. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if we're going to use it right now, but, but at least we'll have it. Cool. Okay, so now I believe we have everything we need. Uh, well, no, we need more bricks, but we're, we're going to take care of that in a minute. The first thing we want to do is set down this stuff, I believe. Uh, this is the controller, the sear tank. We don't need that just yet. We don't need that just yet. So I'm thinking something like this would work. Uh, like this, two, three. We'll just put a block here for the moment, just so we can do that. And one, two, three. I think this is correct. I hope it's correct. Um, so then we can put our uh, sear tank, which we're gonna have to connect to the lava right there. I hope this is correct. Maybe not. Maybe I should do... Let's see. Let's see. Let's just... The smeltery controller is going to be where things fall out of, I believe. So I think... Let's just break that. We'll put that here for now. Then this goes on here. Uh, yeah. Okay. Very cool. Okay. 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 Um, and then... I think that's it for this moment. So now we need, I think that was 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 seared bricks. And I hope I have enough of that. Let's see. Oh, nope, that's not the way I want to do it. Okay, so 26 of these guys. And I shouldn't have done it like that. Let's try this one more time. 26 of these guys. I definitely don't have enough. So we are going to have to make more. But we'll, 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 I'll come back in a minute to do that. Uh, for right now, I should have enough to just at least... Yeah, no, I don't. Okay. So let me get some more seared bricks. And then hopefully we will have a working smeltery. I hope. Assuming I'm doing this right. I think I'm doing this right. Okay. We'll be back in one moment. One thing I forgot to show you guys before is actually how to make the seared brick, and it's actually really simple. First, you got to make grout by putting sand, gravel, and um, clay into your crafting bench. And we can just shift-click that all out because we're going to need a good amount of it. Um, and then you just cook up. Let's just turn that off for a minute. Oh, I didn't want to turn that one off. Uh, as you can see, I added another pipe to the top just because um, I wanted to deal with this. And I can't put it up below because that's where I put the redstone energy pipe. So um, you just put this and smelt it. And when you – oh, oh, I guess you can't – oh, this is a pulverizer. Eh, that's not going to work. Uh, so let's – you know what? We can turn that back on. Um, we put this in here and smelt it. And once it's done smelting, we get a – seared brick okay you didn't see it but it's right there i assure you that works so uh let me just m smelt up all of this clay and or gravel grout that's what it is grout and once i um smelt up all this grout we will get back to tinkerer's construct okay i am back and hopefully this time i made enough of these bricks again this is my really my first time playing with um tinkerer's constructs i don't know if I'm missing something here or what? I guess we're about to find out when I put this last glass here, when I put it back. And I don't know, I might actually need, 
Oh, yeah, it worked. Look at that. Uh, that is not the right place for that, is that? Hold on. So I, I'm definitely missing something. What am I missing? Because that should probably, you know what? We're going to take this off. We're going to put this here. Let's get that back down here. We're going to put this over here with this. Uh, maybe actually not. Let's see. I mean, yeah, this is its totally a thing, but I, I'm missing the pouring mechanism. So let's go back in here. Let's see what what else could I be missing. Uh, seared paver? No. Chiseled seared brick. Maybe I just put this on anything and right click it. You know, I guess that's what we're going to try. We're going we're gonna to try to do something like this. Uh, I guess we'll put it right here. We're going to do it right here for now. Let's see. Put this here. And then maybe I could put this on it. Is that how it works, maybe? I guess we'll find out, right? No, that doesn't look right, does it? That really doesn't look right. Hmm. Wait a second. Let's take another look at this. There, I feel like there's a block I'm missing. Maybe the drain is what I'm missing. That's probably what I need, which sucks because I don't have... Can I put these back into... Oh, I can't turn these back. Okay. So I need to make three more of these. I think it's the seared drain that I'm missing. That's probably what I need. I'm guessing. Anyway, so you know what? Before I go and do that, what we definitely do need is we need some way of filling this up with lava, which... Obviously, the easiest way to do that is with my ender tank right here. Boom. It's hit that so it empties out. And now we should be filling up a lava, maybe. Uh, there we go. Cool. Uh, that is kind of weird. Oh, I'm filling. Oh, because this isn't. Hmm. That. That's kind of weird. Maybe this isn't the right block to be using. A seared window. Can I get... Can I, like, drop something in here and it'll burn? No. That is... Very weird. Um... Yeah. Okay. Let me make this last piece and we will check that out. Okay. I am back and I think I have this figured out. So the first thing I did, as you can see, is I removed the uh, ducts because I don't actually need them. I could actually just put this right next to it and it fills it up. I'm just going to hide this in the corner right here. We don't really need to see it. Um, yeah, we'll just close that off right now because we'll be able to see. Um, yeah, you can see it a little bit through here if there's lava in it. If it's not, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out pretty quickly. Um, second of all, I needed to make one of, whoop, didn't mean to do that. I needed to make one of these smeltery drains, and that's what I put my faucet onto. I I left this over here. I don't remember if this was here or not. I also noticed that I probably shouldn't have made seared windows. I should have made seared glass. And the reason being is not only do these see through, but they also hold liquid. So I'm not sure how useful that's going to be, but eh, we'll just leave that there for now. Why not? So as long as we don't actually pipe any to liquid into it, it should not pick up any liquid. So we should be good there. And this should be done. Yeah, there we go. Two tiered. Uh, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, uh, eighteen slots for things, liquids to go in there. Uh, I definitely want to put another one of these in here so I can use the basin um, to make uh, liquids. But I, I don't really need that right now. What I do need right now is we need a sword. So um, I, I think I, I understand... I'm pretty sure I understand how this works. So the first thing I need to do is make the patterns I need. So I have three blank patterns. Uh, we are going to make, let's look into our materials new. We are going to use make a regular broadsword. So we need a sword blade, a tool rod, and a wide guard. Um, what I think, and um, I think we're going to make this out of, do I have the materials? Uh, do I need the smeltery book? I think it's in the smeltery book. Uh, I think we're going to make it out of, yeah, uh, the alumite. Uh, but we're going to make the guard, I think it is. The guard. Yeah, the wide guard out of paper. Because that's going to give us an extra modifier, I believe. Assuming I got this right. Where is paper? Uh, obsidian paper. Yeah, so this is going to give us a, a, an extra modifier. Because it's just a guard, it shouldn't really make a big difference that it's going to kill the durability. And we're going to make the rest of this out of alumite, I guess. 
I mean, it sounds like a good idea. It seems to have uh, well, the durability. Yeah, the durability is high. Um, and the mining speed, it doesn't matter, is high. Uh, but it does have a, an extra base attack of 1.5. And then we're going to modify it with... What are we going to modify it with? We are going to modify it with not that. We're going to modify it with moss. Um, we're going to modify it with... Hold on, let's see. Uh, what gives me a sharpness? And I think fortune? Maybe, something like that. But we'll, we'll worry about the modifiers when we get there. What we're going to do first is we need to make all the pieces. So the first thing we need to make is a sword, a long sword pattern. Sword blade, there you go. And then we need to make a guard. Is that a guard? Wide guard, is that what I need? You know what? Let's just let's just make a hundred percent sure I don't need a wide I need a wide guard. Uh yeah, wide guard and tool rod. So we need a wide guard and a tool rod. Right. Okay. So here's the first thing is that this is made out of wood. That's not it. It's gonna be in here somewhere. This is made out of wood, and honestly, um wood doesn't allow me to use any actual materials. Do I not need a how do I make a wide guard? Oh, a tool rod. Okay. Oh, that's fine. So I could just make a... Okay, so I don't need actually a stencil for that. So let's put these in here for now. Actually, no, I'm going to need these. Um, I, I, I guess a tool rod is made... How? Because I don't see a stencil for it, do I? No, I don't see a stencil for a tool rod. How do I make a tool rod? You, you think? Tough rod cast. Tool rod cast. But I need to make... Okay, so let's make the other stuff first that I know how to make. So what we need to do is turn these patterns into um, better patterns, these uh, casts, uh, so we can actually put materials in them. So what we need to do is... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, we need to put in these guys. So we'll first we'll make the guard. So we'll put that in there. And basically now we just need to make this out of any type of metal, I believe. And I think we can make it out of whatever the cheapest metal is. So, you know what we're going to try? We are going to try doing it, I guess, out of iron. Like I said, I'm, I'm figuring this out as we go along. So, let's put one piece of iron. I don't know how much iron it, I'm going to need for this. So, I guess we'll, we'll figure it out as we go along. Now, this says it only has half full, which is interesting because that thing over there is full, right? Hmm, we'll figure that out, but let's let this smelt up, and then once this smelts, I believe we can use this to drop into here to make a tool cast. I think that's how it works. I hope that's how it works, because if it doesn't, I kind of screwed this up. And you know what? While this is going, maybe we should look into the smeltery and see how to do that. So we want to cast. Uh, okay. I laser made with nah. That's not what we're looking for. We want to make casts. Okay, we crashed, and I think I kind of screwed this up, but maybe, maybe not. Let's see, because I smelted the iron, but now looking into it, it's not actually iron that I want to use to make the cast. It's three aluminum and one copper, so maybe I can do something like this. Maybe I need more. Let's see, how many, does it say how many? Oh, no, because I can't do that, because this only makes stone. Stone tools? I got this iron in there now. Hmm. Maybe that's just not enough. You know what? Uh, let's just make one more. I guess, let me see if I can get this working. I basically need to make a cast of... I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right. Um, I basically need to... And let's take that out of there. I don't think that's right either. I basically need to make a cast of a... Uh, why I need to make a wide guide guard pattern in something else then put that in here and then dump the aluminum brass onto it to make the cast but I think I kind of screwed that up so give me a minute let me see how I can fix this and I will be right back okay I think I figured out how to uh, fix it so basically what I did here is I um, removed one piece of glass I put in another 
um, smeltery, whatever that's called. What is that called? Uh, drain, and then put a faucet on it, and then a basin, and then I just dropped all the liquid out of here. So what I'm going to have to wind up doing is putting some more iron in here to turn this back into an iron block so I can get my resources back. But for now, that is not what we're working on. I could do that later on my own time. What we are working on is trying to make a sword, and I think this time, for real, I have it figured out. So I have my patterns in the pattern chest. I am going to go into my part builder. I need to make a wide guard pattern. So I need to make a wide guard cast. So the first thing I need to do is make an actual wide guard. Uh, the best way to do that is make a nice wooden one. So we are going to make a wooden one, and it also gives us a uh, tool rod, which is very, very cool, is what we needed. So now what we need to do is put this baby in here. Okay. Now we need, what do we need? We need three aluminum and one copper. So I have the aluminum here, one, two, three, and I don't have any copper here. So let's just grab some copper, close that door. Going this way, again, I need to make these obsidian pressure plates, but I can do that, again, on my own time. So let's grab a little bit of this. This time we're going to go this way because now it's raining, and that's kind of annoying. Um, so now we have three aluminum, one copper. We should be able to smelt that up, one copper, and make our base. And I should have took all the aluminum. No, I have aluminum here. No problem. So I need to do that for this. So once this smelts up, I will come right back. Yes, once this melts up, I will be back, um, and we will make the cast. So this is going to take uh, a little bit. shouldn't take that long. So we'll be right back. Okay, so one thing worth noting is when you smelt an ore in here, it actually doubles the ore. So when I did those three aluminum and one copper, I actually wound up with two aluminum brass and one uh, three aluminum. So I needed enough to make two of these. So I just needed one extra copper um, to get myself the amount of aluminum brass I needed, I think. I I'm pretty sure, at least. Another thing I noticed was I'm not actually making the wide guard out of metal. I wanted to make it out of paper. So I'm just going to put it in here. I got my paper wide guard. We could take this back out. We got the little extra paper left. And we should be good. Cool. So now we have four aluminum brass. Very cool. So now I should be able to put this in here and this in here and make our casting plates. So let's put that there, turn that on, turn it on, there we go, and boom, awesome. Now we have the casting plate, and we have our guard back, we can put the casting plate in here, and right now we don't need this, so we can just throw it in there, and let's see how much that used. That only used one ingot, very, very cool, so now we have enough to put this, what did we want to put in here? We wanted to put this in here. And make another one of these. As soon as it allows me. It's not allowing me. Why isn't it? Why? Why? Can I not do that? Can I not? Let's see. We're going to make a guard just to see what would happen. Can I use the paper for that? Okay, so maybe I can't do that. Okay, let's take a look at this. We want a... We're going to want a... What? Uh, the Aluminite. Yeah, so we need to make that. How do we make this? Yeah, that looks like... Oh. Oh, so we either need to use cobalt. Oh, okay. So maybe we could actually make that out of iron. Okay, so we got this cast. Can we put this back in here somehow? Yeah, I don't know how to do that. Hmm. Now, we don't want to make this out of wood. I guess, you know, we'll try iron again, possibly. Maybe that will work. Do I have more iron on me? Yeah, I must have it in my hand. Okay. So oh, we're going to put one more iron in here. Hmm. Maybe we can't make... Oh, no, we have to be able to make it out of... Maybe it's because it's wood. You know, let's try this again. Maybe I screwed something up. Put that there. And it's not working. It's not working. Not working. Oh, my own. Okay, so but, well, before we do that... We have this and we have this. So we have almost all we need to make our, um, we, we have almost all we need to be able to make our sword, but this won't, okay, let's, let me figure this out. I'll be right back. Okay, so for everyone who figured it out, I was making a stick. I was using a stick. That wasn't actually a tough rod. So I, just to make things go quicker, I made a stone one. And now we should be able to turn that on and maybe I have to do it with my hand. 
Turn that on. There we go. Now we have the pattern. Very cool. That's what we wanted. But we still have a little bit more in there. We do. We have enough for one more thing. So what we are going to make real quick, very quickly, is we are going to make, uh, we have a pattern, right? We are going to make the uh, pickaxe head, this one, because that, that's going to be the next thing we make eventually. Anyway, so we might as well get that in there. And now we can take this, put it here. And get this last, no wait, no, that's not right. That's not right, close, close, but no cigar. Put this in here, then put that there. Oh, I need more wood than that? How much does this need? Material cost the whole? Oh wait, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'll get there guys, I'm getting there. There we go, now we have the wooden pickaxe head. Now we can put this down. Now we can put this in here. Now we can do this. And there we go. Cool. And it's all out of there. Very, very cool. Put these guys back in here for now. We're going to take these guys out because I don't think we're going to need these anytime soon. Right? Because, yeah, we made everything we need. Um, we're never going to be making these wood tools. We're, we're already beyond that. But what we are going to make is we want to make... Where is it? Oh, did I just pass it? Aluminite. Aluminite, you need... What do we smelt together? Okay, so first we need to make an ingot, I believe. Let's see if I could find, maybe it's an advanced smeltery. Uh, we wanna make the aluminite, and I thought, you know, it would've been smart if I actually made it already, but no, it's okay, alloys, there we go. Uh, where are we, where are we? No, nope. did we pass it? Where is aluminite? Made from five aluminum, two iron, and two obsidian. I could definitely, definitely, definitely take care of that. Uh, but I will need to smelt all that stuff first and cast, you guessed it, an ingot. Okay, so let's make another one of these. Do I have my stick in there? I'll take that stick out. Why not? So we need to make another one of these um, blank templates. And then we need an ingot one, right? There's one specifically for ingots, I think. Or maybe I just throw an ingot in there. Maybe I just throw an ingot of something in there. Let's see if that we can do that works. And then maybe we want to add, okay, so we don't want to use the ore right now just because that aluminum ore is gonna double the amount and we just, we don't need that extra. I believe I have some cooked aluminum around here somewhere. Uh, there it is, raw aluminum. That should be good. And it's two raw aluminums, right? Two raw, one copper. Pretty sure that's what it is. Two raw, that doesn't work, okay. So I have to use the actual ore. So one of these, and one of these, is that gonna be enough? That might just do it, right? Three aluminum, oh, so I am gonna have an extra one, aren't I? Because this is gonna double it. Hmm, okay, so I think I'm gonna have to make a second basin, of, uh, second material of some sort, because I can't, yeah. I can't do anything with this raw aluminum, and this is not going to give me enough. This is going to give me two and one copper, uh, but it's not going to actually give me the aluminum brass, I don't believe. So I guess I'm going to have to do this, and I guess we'll do this, and we'll make two more casting things. What's the next thing I'm going to want to cast? Um, probably a hammer, right? What, what goes into a hammer? Uh, hammerhead. You know what? We're probably going to need these these jammies. How do I make that? I don't know how to make that. So we, oh yeah, we'll probably just do this, put that in there, and then look for the creeper face. Right? What is that? Whiteboard. None of these ingots, right? That doesn't look like, oh no, they're, okay, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I just throw an ingot in there. Let's find this creeper face. Is there a creeper face? Yeah, there is. Okay, cool. There we go. Now let's see. This is almost done. We have the aluminum. <laughs> and my phone heard me talking, and it actually thought I was talking to it. Okay, uh, so once this copper is done, uh, and the copper and the aluminum, we should be able to make this ingot. Uh, copper will be done any second now. Come on, don't make me a liar. Any second now, there we go. And then once, there we go, we have aluminum brass. Once that goes, we'll have another thing, aluminum brass. Let's make this. Very cool. Got it, got it. Okay, and then next we're gonna use this. 
And for now, let's just put that back into there. Once that is done cooking, we'll do that. Um, but next, we are going to need to make the, where is it? We are going to need to make the um, Ammonite, whatever that shit's called. This isn't the right one, is it? No, it was this one? No, yeah. Wait, was it this one? I'm going to get this, guys. Don't you worry. Okay, so I need five aluminum, two iron, and two obsidian. And then we're going to cast that into ingots. And how many ingots am I going to need? I am going to need one ingot for this. And then one ingot for this. That's half ingot. Okay. So we need one and a half ingots. Obviously, you don't make one and a half ingots. Uh, one ingot. Hmm. Aluminum brass. We can make one ingot or six nuggets. I kind of screwed this up, didn't I? What if I just put this into an ingot? Will that work? You never know when you need an aluminum brass. What does that leave us left with? Okay, we have an aluminum brass. Fine, that's okay. I am okay with that. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but obviously right now I don't need to do anything with it. And I still have... Can I make... That's not going to work. Huh, this is kind of annoying. I need to get this straight a little... Oh, okay. Wait, what did I make now? I made... Nothing, because whatever it was, there was not enough of it to make anything of. That is actually kind of annoying. What did I do? Okay, can I just break this? Is that going to just destroy it? I don't mind losing it at this point. Yeah, okay, good. I lost some of my stuff. That is fine with me. We just want to get this. want to get this over and done with and get this working. I want my new... Oh, and of course I did that. I want my new tools. Okay, so let's get that there. Put that back down here. Cool. So now we need... We need to put in here... What did I say? You know, I don't even have... I should have all the tools ready. You know, I'm, I'm really bad at this. Okay. We need five aluminum. So that is... Yeah. Five aluminum, two iron, two obsidian. So two iron. One, two... That should smelt. I wish it told me how much it smelt. I, you know, I bet you, I bet you it'll tell me somewhere. Um, and then I need five aluminum. Which three? You know what? Let's see what two does, and then we'll come back to it. Uh, five aluminum, and then we need two obsidian, and I think one block of obsidian will give me two ingots. I think. Or we'll go for two. I'm bringing two with me just to be safe. But I think this should be right. I think I am correct about this. I could be wrong. What's in here? Oh. Molten copper. Huh. I kind of screwed that up, didn't I? Uh, you know, maybe I could do the same thing I did before. I'm going to lose a little copper, but it's fine. We'll just lose it. I don't care. It's going to make my life a little easier. I need to play around with this a little bit more because it's very possible I didn't need to do that. There's probably another way of doing it, uh, but whatever. Uh, so what do we have? Multi oh, we still have the copper in there. Why is that? Huh. Interesting. Okay. Whatever. I am going to wait for this stuff to smelt because this obsidian is obviously taking a long time. And hopefully when this is done, we are going to have ourselves some alumite. And then we can make our tools out of the Lumite. And we can have a Lumite sword. And then we can start modifying it. Very cool. Okay. Well, I'll be right back. And hopefully, hopefully, I got this right. Okay. I think, I think, I think I finally got this. So, inside of here, I have one Molten Lumite. So, if I put this here and then do this, there we go. I'm going to get the Molten Illuminite. Yes, blade. Very cool. Now I just need to make a uh, tool rod, a molten aluminite tool rod. So inside here, I already have, I believe I have uh, going what I am going to need to make one more. Yeah, I think I have in here what I'm going to need to make one more aluminite um uh, ingot or molten ingot, whatever. But before that, uh, oh, I have another molten aluminite. So then if I do this 
and then take this and put this here. Boom. Let it cast. Very cool. What do we have left here? We have Molten Aluminite, 7 or 8 MB. Uh, aluminum Brass, which I kind of need to get out of there. Aluminum. Okay, so we got a whole hodgepodge of things in there that we're going to have to worry about another time. But this time, I believe we have everything we need. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's see. We will put the sword recipe in. We will put that there. That there. That there. And there we go. We have a broadsword. So let's let's make it. It's reinforced two. It's going to do only 3.5 hearts of damage. But we, we'll definitely change that uh, by adding sharpness to it. Um, we also have uh, modifiers for four remaining. So um, we should be able to make this into something really cool. Either that or I just made a totally useless sword. I guess we'll find out. Um, there's really no point of testing it right now just because it's it's kind of weak until I start modifying it. Um, so that's what I'm going to have to do next time. But for now, I am going to have to wrap up this episode because this went a lot longer than I thought. Uh, thanks for joining me. As always, like, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. I'll see you guys next time.